Hey guys, my name's Rob, and I'm part of the team here at Youthscape, and I also work for a local church, um, St. John's Methodist. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about Movember, uh, but before we get into that, if you haven't checked out some of our other vlogs and blogs, you can visit the Self Harm UK website for some great advice and tips. So, Movember um, is all about raising awareness for men's health. Um, in America, we call it No Shave November. Uh, I can't really grow a great beard, but this is, this is me not shaving. Um, and we're raising awareness for men's health because, on average, men die six years earlier than women. Uh, this is for a variety of reasons, um, but one of those reasons is that uh, I think there's a, a pressure on men to um, not express their feelings from society because maybe it's viewed upon as being weak um, or it's a weakness to, to talk about your feelings as a man. Um, men typically would try to hold it in and, and act macho or act like everything's all right. Um, but really inside, it's not always all right. Um, and this can lead to um, very damaging things in, in the years, if you hold it in for years. Um, and as we see, men are dying six years on average earlier than women. Um, so as an American, um, I've got an analogy for you using an American sport, which is baseball. So in baseball, um, many of you might know about that, um, you, can, you, you go up to bat and you can hit a single, a double, a triple, or a home run. Um, but as a batter, you would adjust your swing depending on what your intentions are. So um, if you're trying to hit a home run, you oftentimes will swing, you'll give a home run swing, um, which is like everything you've got, swing for the fences is what they call it in America. Um, and while it's great to hit a home run, it's a great result, it's also not something they'll teach you in baseball to do um, every time you go up to the plate because it's not always right for every situation. In fact, a lot of coaches will say um, hit for consistency, hit singles, um, which is about making contact with the ball, just keeping focused and progressing, making steps forward. Um, the reason I use this analogy is that I think as men sometimes we can feel like uh, from society there's a pressure for us to uh, hit home runs and everything that we do all the time um, and if we're trying to live up to this pressure um, upon us, um, well, that's just not realistic. That's not practical for us to constantly be doing that to ourselves or believing that for ourselves. And actually, I think it's much healthier to um, take an approach where we can try to hit singles and be consistent and take it step by step, making progress every day. Um, I think one of the ways that we can make progress is by vocalizing how we feel. Um, so if you're feeling down, if you're feeling hurt, if you're, if you're feeling like you might need help, um, actually, the only way to get that help is to ask for it and to communicate and be open. So those are some of my thoughts uh, around November. And just want to challenge you, boy or girl, take the pressure off. Um, don't try to hit home runs all the time. Settle for singles, being consistent, making progress. Um, and um, I just also want to challenge that being strong, being um, courageous can, can definitely take the form of vulnerability. Um, by being honest, by being real and open, I think that can be some of the most courageous uh, and strong things that we could be doing for, for ourselves and for the people around us, um, demonstrating that that's okay um, by doing it, that other people who need help as well can um, see that and, and they might feel like, oh, that is okay, I can be vulnerable, I can say that I need help, I can say I'm hurting. Um, so let's challenge ourselves to, to be vulnerable, to be honest, to be real to hit singles, and if you, um, boy or girl, if you would like to post something on the forum, um, you can go to the Self Harm UK website. The Self Harm UK team is there to listen to you um, all the time, and they're ready to help out however they can. Um, so that's it for me today. Thank you guys for listening, and I'll see you next time.